Part two, we're gonna colorize Pig Pig Goes to Camp by David McThrall. Um, I tested out some colors. You can use Sharpies. I just happen to have some fancier pins, but Sharpies will do the same thing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna color his shirt because he always seems to have a yellow shirt. It's not gonna look exactly like the book drawing because I'm using Sharpies instead of watercolor. They're not as subtle as uh, uh, you get with uh, a watercolor pan. Ooh, that's pretty pink. Let's do his nose. Let's see, we need a lighter color here. We'll do him his body in. in. put a little more pink on this. This pink is really pink. I'm not too happy with this, but anyway, what do you do? And then I'm gonna go back with the other pin and try to blend it in. Well, let's make his tail pink. Okay, now I'm gonna try to make this work a little better by working on it. Yeah. Okay, now he has a little bit of red and, oh, that's too big. Your Sharpies will be smaller. There. Okay, now we need red pants. Oh boy. This is gonna be. take a yellow and tone it down a bit. Okay, now the final touches are Sharpie. Your regular Sharpies that you use at school. Turn your paper so you can get a nice fluid feel. Turn it so otherwise you'll get a stiff line. Here's his three little trotters. Turn your paper. Darker line there. Button. See, I'm turning it upside down. Just trying to make it easy to make a fluid line. Now, here's this button on the other side. I'm doing it fast because it's hard on the person filming this but you can stop your camera or your video and see what I'm doing. I, mean, I wouldn't do it this fast ordinarily. Okay, here's 
horse's tail and his little hair. There's his trotters. Now we'll just go back. What does he need done? Okay, let's see. Maybe a little bit right there, a little bit right there, a little bit right there. A couple of little nose tweaking, a little like that. A little shadow. A little darker here, a little darker there, a little darker here, a little darker here. I think that's pretty good. Okay.